pam 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 Hi, welcome to this short video called Unfortunate Food Events Number One. And during this series of videos, Sean Teacher will show you what it looks like when you have a food disaster. That's right. Hold on. A food disaster is coming your way. Aren't you excited? <laughs> See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Food disaster number one. The unfortunate food event is someone dropped an egg on the floor. Oh no, that's always bad. So the way we're going to deal with that is we're going to make kind of a crackly line. Just make that line kind of like that. And then on the other side of it, make kind of the top of an egg. Hmm. Now, it's very flat looking like this. So what I want to do is kind of make that same line again. And what it ends up looking like is the inside of the shell that just broke, right? So over here, we're gonna put the back and it's gonna be kind of tilted back a little bit. Something like this. I'm gonna tilt it back and kind of make those same kind of crooked lines. Yeah, like that. Kind of the same, right? Maybe a little more here. And then I'll make the bottom of the egg. It's kind of round, isn't it? And then I'll do that sort of same thing. Make that kind of repeated jagged line. And it kind of looks like an egg that's been opened up. But where's the juicy part of the egg? I'm going to show you that now. Here will be the yolk. And it's going to be kind of round on top. And then here we'll have sort of a, kind of a semicircle. And the fun part is making the sort of blobby mess. So we're gonna kind of make a number like this. And we'll make one or two little blobby drops out here. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's color it. Ha! Game over. Well, one interesting thing about coloring something like this is sort of following the contour. And by that, I mean, you can kind of see this line. You kind of want to follow that line when you color it, either with crayons or brushes or however you decide to color it. And somewhere in here, we're going to leave a highlight. Many times you see these highlights sort of illustrated as kind of square. And I think that's probably the intention of having a window that's showing light somewhere, wherever this thing broke. Probably in your mom's kitchen where you dropped the egg and said, sorry, mom. And she's like, I'm going to get you, child, for dropping an egg in my kitchen. Maybe you dropped it over at grandma's house. Is that better or worse? Grandma's usually not as strict as mom is, is she? Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. That's neat. Okay. So now I kind of want to show the edges of this sort of blob that I've made. This big mess. 
and they're not kind of defined like a square edge would be. It's sort of a rounded edge. Because that's how sloppy blobby eggs look. So I'm using this kind of gray marker. Now, you're probably going to say, but I don't have a gray marker, Sean, teacher. That's fine. You have a pencil. And your pencil will do just as good as this gray marker. Maybe not as fast, but it'll certainly do just as well. And you notice how I'm not coloring everything, right? Just part of these sort of edges. It's not everywhere, it's just some places, right? Maybe I could put a little in here somewhere. And a little in here. Wow, we've got a broken egg. I wonder if we could make the inside of the the egg a little darker. That would show a little more depth, wouldn't it? And you could use a pencil for this too. Just kind of making it a little gray in there. Yeah, look at that. And just like that, our unfortunate egg incident is done. Now what could we do to the rest of it? We could draw the floor, how the floor looks at our house. Maybe we could draw some ants crawling to eat the, or maybe your cat loves, you ever have an animal, a, a pet, that when you drop something on the floor, look out, cause it belongs to the animal now. Om nom nom, right? So maybe you've got a cat that would eat that egg. I don't know. I don't know what you'll do, but there is an unfortunate food event. I'll see you later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you. Don't drop any eggs. Bye. <laughs>